Yeah, um, I rang up earlier to ask about the gerbils that you have for adoption. If yeah. They're still there. Um, I was wondering if you could give me some more information, like their age and gender and stuff. Right, I'm gonna call them now. Should I do it on um, speaker? Doesn't sound good. There, um, we've got uh, a pair of females and a three, a group of three males. Right. Um, and the, the the reason they're in adoption is somebody bought um, two gerbils from elsewhere, and it turned out that they were a male and a female, and they had babies. Oh right, I see. Yeah. Uh, so they're only, um, I think they'll only be about fourteen to sixteen weeks now. All oh, right. Um, so they were only young when they came into us, so they're still babies. Okay. All right, thank you. So, All like, right, no yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's all right. It's a group of three mills. Yeah. Oh, it's that right. Reserve Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then. I'm trying to see from the video. Um, right, Saturday, Alicante. What they looked like. Right. So the females are both look like sooty. <laughs> oh. All the free mails, yeah. Cute. So I thought I would just talk you guys through what's going on because you're probably thinking, what? Um, well, you probably you probably worked out anyway, but basically I just phoned Pets at Home. It's the one that we went to a few weeks ago with Vinny. You may remember when I vlogged. They do have three males, so taking one I wouldn't feel bad because there would still be a pair and then Hopefully, you know. Normally I would ideally look for a younger one, but you can't really get younger ones without actually going and buying from a pet shop and I would much rather adopt. So it's definitely po definitely possible to um, introduce two adult males together. It's just maybe, you know, he's not quite fully grown yet, this one. So that's the advantage. So we're gonna go tonight. There's two females. Oh, he looks just like Sutty, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, you are cute though. Um, oh, there's the other one. It's like two Sutties. This is behind that tunnel. They kept them, but they oh, the owners kept the owners kept them, but um, they had, they couldn't keep all the babies, so they have to keep the male and female separate. Oh, there's gerbils in here. Maybe it's. My name is Sugar. I'm oh, is that is that one of the adults? Maybe. Oh, no, no. My name is Treacle. There's a gerbil That's in there. Hamster. That's a hamster. Oh. Wait, there's a. I wonder if that. That looks like a, a bigger one though. Yeah, well, there is definitely a multicolored one in here because. Oh, that's the nest. Mm. Is that where the other one went? Because I can see one in it. It's got a black head. Should we ask to see them?
He's awake now. Mommy's awake. He's really cute. Oh, oh my god, he's gorgeous. Yeah. We've got to have you. Oh my god. Do you know these two are just like sutty? They were like play fighting. Oh, see, you see the he's getting there. Yeah. No, we want him. Yeah, definitely. He's so cute. Why oh, is so little? Oh. Them two look like best friends, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, he looks a bit left out. Yeah. So when my mum went shopping yesterday to the market, she found this massive bunch of kale. This only costs like, what was it, like 80p a bunch, I think. And let's see. I mean, look how big one of them bunches is. Guys, that's amazing. And we got three bunches. So we've got so much kale. This stuff is great for winter feeding. Really nutritious. A really good replacement of the forage. So... They are going to absolutely love this. I can't wait to see their reaction. So this is what the animals breakfast look like this morning. This is for the rabbits. As you can tell, they've got a ton of kale, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, pepper. Um, this is for the five indoor guinea pigs and this is for the five outdoor guinea pigs so that's that you guys are loving that aren't you they absolutely love the leafy greens but Especially this kale, they really like that, and the spring greens, probably their favourite food. So I just made this playpen for Sooty, as you can see it's just made out of this Corex stuff, it's kind of like a thin version of the typical like CNC cage Corex like we have for the skinny pigs <laughs> they're enjoying their food so yeah I got Sooty out Sooty is so active at the minute you can't stop running around and yeah he's got tons of energy so I thought I would get him out in a playpen just to kind of give him something to do um so yeah he seems to be kind of enjoying himself um also trying to escape as you can see he's definitely trying to escape but I just thought I'd give him this playpen give him some more toys to play with and just somewhere else to occupy him really So I never really gave you an update of what happened when we went to pets at home. Ah, his claws just went straight in my skin. Right. So basically, guys, we went to pets at home and found the three gerbils there. Um, there was Jasper. You're not in the way at all. You're really not in the way at all. Um, <laughs> Jasper. No one wants to see that end. So yeah, we'd phoned up in advance. I went with all intentions of adopting one of the three. And I didn't think they would have an issue with that, seeing as when you go into Pets Home anyway, they have like, you know, the ones that, that are there to buy. Well, they're like, I'm pretty sure they're all litter mates and, you know, you just take however many you want and leave the rest behind. You don't take all of them. Um, but they were really funny about us taking one and not all three. They weren't very happy with that. Um, so they were basically said they want them to stay together and then they were very, they weren't very um, confident in my ability to bond them. That's how I kind of felt. Um, I mean, I completely understand where they're coming from because it isn't easy to bond gerbils. I've done it before and it does take time and patience and experience, but, you know, I feel like I can do all that and 
it's kind of frustrating but it's fine because I mean yeah th that obviously wasn't meant to be one of my followers on Instagram DM'd me yesterday I think it was or was it the day before I, maybe it was the day before um saying that there's this animal rescue near Leeds in Keithley I think and yeah there's this animal rescue near Keithley and they have three gerbils oh <laughs> stop biting me so we're going to we've contacted the people there and we're going to go and see them on Monday the pets at home were obviously not really happy with me having them bonding them with another whereas this rescue have explained to me it can be done with you know time and you know stuff like that and doing it correctly so I'm really looking forward to going there on Monday and we'll see how that goes I've decided that I would like to try bonding all three of them with with um, Milo and I was only planning on getting one but this rescue very good they would basically um, you know if there was an issue with bonding and it didn't go to plan they would happily take them back into their care I will keep you guys updated hopefully it'll be some good news and we'll be able to get Milo bonded with the others. He's doing really well, by the way. A lot of people have said that we should take him to the vets and stuff. Honestly, he's completely fine. His tail's recovering really well. He's acting normal again, which is awesome. Super, you know, good to see. I'm really, really happy with his progress. Um, Sooty, on the other hand, is acting a bit strange. He's, I mean, he's always been a bit <laughs> different, but he's very, very hyperactive and won't sleep, and he's just, you know, got so much energy in him. I know gerbils do anyway, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, hopefully he'll be fine. I'm sure he's fine. Um, so yeah, they're both doing okay. So, uh, Milo's, you know, seems to be getting better. So I will hopefully see you guys very soon. Bye.